And we want to ask those rich and powerful people to know that getting property is a difficult thing. They may demean these small people because their property is nothing to them. But it's a hard-worn sweat. They should respect the property of the ordinary Kenyans. So as you plan your demonstration tomorrow, as you plan to destroy property, know that the government will protect life and property tomorrow in Nairobi and in other towns. Property has been destroyed. Juzi ameeda kibra, ame insaitu watu, ame choma muskiti. Ame insaitu watu, ame choma kanisa. Whatever he has been, he has left a tale of destruction of property. Kenya is a country of the rule of law and we have a constitution. Uyu jamaya mandamano amezoea to force his way into government through violence. In 1982, he masterminded a military coup against the government of President Daniel Ramoy. Many Kenyans died and property was destroyed. He wanted to come to power through the back door. It was not possible. In 1997, when he stood for presidency, he was number four. He lost. He brought chaos and violence, and President Daniel Moy brought him to government and made him Minister for Energy. You know what happened? Akakuja kwa serikali ya Moy, akaisabaratisha. In the year 2007, Moy Kebake, our beloved president, defeated him hands down. He brought chaos. Many Kenyans died. Property was destroyed. And Kebaki brought him into government through Nusumukate. You know what he did to Mwai Kebaki.